Good afternoon, welcome to another Dad Cooks Better. Today we're going to do one of the world famous desserts, we're going to do creme brulee. Let me show you how easy it is. Let me go over the, uh, the ingredients real quick. What do we need for a good creme brulee? I use 700 milliliters of cream, which cream? Any cream you want. You can use the light cream, you can use 33% fat cream, anything that floats your boat. I use about 250 mils of milk, 150 grams of sugar, and eight egg yolks, and two vanilla pods. Now, how do I get started? First of all, we're gonna add the cream and the milk into this bowl here. And I'm gonna put that to warm up. Into that, I'm gonna put my two vanilla pods. Cut off the ends. Open up the vanilla. Like this. Take out black seeds. Just like that. Man, don't you just love the smell of fresh vanilla? Hmm. Put that in there. Okay. Meanwhile, while I'm doing this, I'm already preheating my oven. So, when I finish here, I can go in there. This piece of vanilla isn't cooperating too good. Okay, let's flip it over. Other side. There we go, look at that. Black gold. Okay. Put this on the fire, medium heat, doesn't need to be too high, doesn't need to boil, you just need to warm it up to get the flavors going. Now, back to the egg yolks. Here we have the eight egg yolks, and I'm going to whisk in the sugar, just like that. I don't need to whisk it too hard, you just need to give it a bit of a hit, just like this. So you see the sugar being dissolved a little bit. That's good. Meanwhile, I'm just going to hold on for a second while this uh, warms up and the, f and the flavors start fusing together. Okay. Now this milk is warm enough, so what I'm going to do now is take out the two vanilla pods. They've done their job, but don't throw them away. Put them in a bowl of sugar. If you have lots, just keep putting them in your sugar bowl and they're going to start flavoring your sugar uh, to a nice vanilla taste. Now, what am I going to do first? Just going to pour in just a little bit to even out the temperatures. Otherwise, if you put in the warm milk and cream all in one go, you're gonna have omelets instead of creme brulee. You can always call them omelet brulee. That's not gonna be nice. Okay, now check out all this beautiful vanilla. Mm. Make sure I got it all. You don't have real vanilla pods, be free to use vanilla sugar or vanilla extract or whatever. Okay, that's that. Now, what you want to do now is, if you're going to put it into the oven, you want to wait until the foam pulls away. That way, it's not going to burn or burst in the oven and you're going to get nice flat top on your creme brulee. Okay, I'm going to pour into this thing over here. There we go. So that way 
Don't waste any vanilla. Man. Okay. Now. I'm going to pour them into my little cups. Man, you can smell the vanilla, it's beautiful. Didn't know it was this easy, did you? Hmm? Creme brulee, there's nothing more to it. French classic, easy peasy. Look at that. Okay. okay, now these are ready for the oven. You should actually wait until the foam is all gone, but you know, not today. We're too uh, eager to eat the creme brulees. Now, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Now, normally a good uh, creme brulee ramekin is about, you know, this wide. It's, it's a lot wider than these cups and a lot lower. So that means you can put it in the oven at about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius and leave it in there for about an hour. Now these ramekins that I have are a lot higher, so that means there's a lot, my, my creme brulee is a lot thicker. So I, I up the oven uh, to about 150 degrees Celsius and I'm gonna leave it in there for about an hour. In about an hour I'm gonna check. If they're okay, I'm gonna take them out. If not, I'm gonna leave them a bit longer. You can see when they're ready, when you wobble them, they should look like gelatine, you know. Okay, let's get them into the oven. In B, mix, put B in C, put C in oven, become the water. When water goes into glass, the water becomes the glass, goes in pot, water becomes pot. Be water, my friend. Bruce Lee. Ready? <laughs> okay, now these have been in the oven for about an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes more or less because there was a lot of creme brulee in the little pot so it took me a little bit longer to get it done. But these are all nice and done, all nice and jelly wise. So these need to be cold when you, when you pour the sugar on them and burn the sugar, they need to be cold. So what I'm gonna do real, now, real quick now is to uh, put them in the freezer so they can cool down a little bit faster than normal. Okay, see you back here in five minutes. Now, these have been in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Now, I'm gonna finish them off. What I have in here is a mixture of brown sugar with white sugar. Now I like to put them in a petulant mortar, just give them a, a nice little stir around so the sugar gets nice and silky smooth. That makes it a little bit more uh, easier to caramelize. So I'm just gonna spray some on just like this. Try and spread it out nice and evenly. There we go. left to do is with the burn caramelizing a little bit just like that man look at this the smell is beautiful oh now you can do it for people who don't have a burner you can do this under the grill just keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn and your crane brulee doesn't heat up too much because sometimes under the grill it takes too long your creme brulee is gonna heat up. And this is a dessert that's supposed to be served cold with like the warm caramel on top. There you go. Oh, look at this, beautiful. 
Didn't know it was that easy, did you? Just some eggs, some milk and cream, a little bit of sugar, put it in the oven for about an hour. Bob's your uncle. Got creme brulee. World famous French recipe for under 10 bucks. Just look at that. Man. In a good restaurant, you'll pay top ball for this dessert. Gonna finish off the other ones here. Cheap, put a little extra on, give it a little shake. There you go. Try to burn it nice and evenly so the sugar gets a nice chance to caramelize. Just like that. Oh man. Beautiful. That was creme brulee for you. Okay, this dessert is ready. Now let me just call the gang here so they can have their dessert. Come and get it! <laughs> hey, hey, no fighting, no fighting. <laughs> Okay, that was that cooks better making creme brulee. Uh, you got any questions? Feel free to mail me. Uh